Good day, learners! This lesson will help you become aware of your role. It targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions. Having knowledge about the reproductive system will give you more sense of responsibility of taking care of yourself and grow according to the words of your parents and other members of the family who take good care of you. Males and females have unique reproductive system to perform reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens, meaning the process needs male and female parent. Therefore, it is important to study our reproductive system for us to be aware and responsible on how to take good care of it. Let's take first the parts of the male reproductive organ. The male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction. The testis, as the primary organ, is tasked to make sperm cell that is used to reproduce new organism. Epididymis is the site for maturation of the sperm cell to develop swimming ability. The vas deferens is a long tube that connects the testis and the prostate gland for the pathway of the sperm during ejaculation. Ejaculation is a process of releasing sperm out of the system. Seminal vesicle is the organ responsible for the secretion of fluids containing fructose, mucus, and prostaglandins. Fructose content nourishes the sperm to stay healthy. The mucus content is for cell protection while prostaglandin content triggers uterine contraction. Prostate gland is the reason of the smell of the semen, which is due to the alkaline fluid that neutralizes vaginal acids. Urethra is the part of the system that conducts semen to go outside the body through the penis. Penis has erectile tissues that are used during mating. We come now to the parts of the female reproductive organ. The female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. The ovary is where the egg cells get matured and is released. Fimbria sweeps the matured eggs to the fallopian tube or oviduct. The egg goes to the uterus wherein eggs may be either fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or eliminated by means of menstruation. During implantation, the part called endometrium, aligning in the uterus, thickens to do the process. Vagina is the passage going to the uterus. It is where the penis is inserted and menstrual blood goes out. Now, let's have a practice. 
what you are going to do is just to say MR if the given word is a part of the male reproductive system and FR if it's a part of the female reproductive system. Understood? Let's start with number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Next. Number six. Then number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And the last one, good job kids, you got it right. Now, let's take a look again at the different parts of the male and female reproductive system. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.